Hi everyone, I'm back with a video on speech and language development for children, how to encourage language development and speech development at home. So if you're a parent who's a bit concerned that your child might be a late talker or might have a speech delay, this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing strategies and things to do at home. Before I do that, I just want to give you a brief timeline of what speech development looks like in children. So right about one year of age, around 12 months, you will hear, you might hear your child say one or two words. That's where they're just starting out. So it could be a word that they're familiar with or a word that they've heard a lot, such as mama or ball or anything like that. As the child's getting closer to 15 months and then 18 months, you're going to see an increase in vocabulary whereby a child would have then five words and 10 words and they're adding to their vocabulary based on what they're hearing and what's going on at home. By two years, you should see your toddler putting two words together. So want milk, play ball, go out. These are some of the things you should be hearing. So if you are a parent of a toddler who either has a speech delay or you might think they um, are a little bit behind in talking, then this video is for you because this is going to just give you um, some tools to use at home to encourage language and speech. Okay, so the good news is that a lot of the strategies I'm going to talk about are things that we naturally do as parents, so it's just going to be tweaking them a little bit. The first strategy I want to talk about is show and wait. So for example, if your child wants um, a toy or an object, so for example, if they want this doll and they're asking for it and they're kind of pointing but they're not saying the word, what you would do is you would show them the item. It could be an apple or a ball or a book or a doll, you're gonna show them, say the word doll, and then just wait. Um, and when you're waiting, you're gonna be sort of um, showing them that you're anticipating them to say it with your eyes and with your facial expression, doll. And then you're going to wait just a little bit, uh, maybe between three and five seconds to seven seconds. Um, you don't want them to get frustrated, but you wanna wait a little and keep the item out of their reach. And then if they do say the word, you're going to positively reinforce that and give them the item. If they don't say it, you're just going to repeat the word, uh, the name of the item. So you're going to say doll and then give them the doll. So that's one technique um, that you can use. And this can be used with just about anything. And it's also repeating the things they're repeating the, uh, the words and they're listening to the vocabulary. So the second thing that really helps kids with speech development is simply just playing with them. So play is so important for kids for so many reasons. It develops their cognitive thinking, imagination, creativity. So what are some examples of play that would help with speech development? So um, a couple of things that would help is pretend play. So pretend play is something where you can uh, pretend to create a salad, you can pretend to cook, um, so pretend play is great because it's sparking their imagination and you're speaking to them about what they're doing. Peekaboo is great. Peekaboo is really good to develop kind of this turn taking back and forth. In fact, any game that has turn taking and back and forth is good. Role playing is really nice. You pretending to be someone and them pretending to be someone. Also scrapbooking. If your child's a little bit older, cutting pictures out, talking about the items and then putting them in a scrapbook and talking about that. So all of these activities are really good ways to play with your child. So the third thing that I think parents um, don't realize sometimes that is so, so important is simply talking to your child more. Most parents do talk to their child, but we want to just take that up a level and not only talk to them, but sort of narrate what's happening throughout the day. So what I mean by that is, for example, if um, you're going to set the table for dinner or you're going out to the park, you can say, okay, it's time to set the table for dinner. Let's put one plate for dad, one plate for mom. So you're sort of narrating throughout the day what's going on. I'm making a cup of tea, I'm doing this, I'm playing. And what's, what's happening with that is there's sort of one, hearing more language, hearing more vocabulary, and identifying more things in their environment. So great idea, you can do this even when kids are really, really young, even when they're pre-verbal, is to narrate throughout the day about what's happening. 
And this can be about simple family routines, simple things that are happening throughout the day. Um, as you go along, you're kind of talking to them about that, about what's happening along the way. Okay, the last tip is reading with your child. How do we do that? Or what's the specific way that we should be reading with our toddlers? So toddlers love reading, they love to look at books, they love to look through books, and we want them to develop a love for reading. So what you can do is have a stack of books, maybe as part of your bedtime routine or as part of your daily routine, where you could, um, you could grab a set of books. And what we wanna do with uh, toddlers or a child that's learning to speak is you want them to um, you want them to pick the book. So you don't have you don't want to like sort of say okay this is the book we're gonna read. So you want them to pick the book, and when they do pick the book, you don't have to read it word for word. Um, you can go through it, and when you're going through it, you can um, describe what's going on. You can read some of it. You can describe what's going on, and you can wait for your toddler to also give you input and describe what's happening in the story. And allow them to share it with you. Also let them hold the book. If they want to hold the book and flip the pages, let them do it, let them hold the book, let them flip the pages. Keep books simple. I know for younger kids, what I really love is these. That's not my series. These are adorable because it's not just descriptions. The pictures are really lovely and bright. And they're also sensory, so it gives them that little added fun. Okay, that's not my reindeer, that's not my flamingo. There's a whole set of these. So, um, reading, so that's one thing. You can have like reading as maybe you could do um, 10 to 15 minutes in the evening as part of the bedtime routine, or you can have a reading corner at home where they, if they wanna just sit down, plop down on a bean bag with books, you can keep them there and they can sit and they can read with you. Remember to always, with all the things that I've said, is you want to give your toddler um, time to respond. So a lot of times parents are, you know, they, they, they say something to a child and they, they're sort of wanting them to respond right away. So you're giving, giving them a little bit of time to process and respond to, to what you're saying. I hope you found these tips useful. I just want to reiterate that this does not take the place of speech therapy. If your child has been diagnosed with a speech delay, you do want to um, then take them to a speech therapist, but these are also activities and things you can do at home. I'm also going to link resources that you can use at home. There's great websites and resources that um, are basically just helping parents on how to engage with, talk to, and promote language development and speech development at home with your child. Thank you so much for watching.